Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and this is part 152 of the Aspirations Challenge. So I was playing through to try to just get through to the morning and start recording then, but then Kato was actually asleep when he got a phone call from Maria asking if she want he wanted to come over on a date technically. Here it says hanging out with lover. So that's interesting. I was really intrigued by that invitation. So I had Kato come all the way to San Marino, which could be maybe where he uh, decides that he likes it and wants to move here because that is my plan. I'm thinking he'll probably live here. Uh, and then, but then she went to bed. So that's a bit weird. Like, why would you invite him over and then go to bed? And also, like, where are your parents? <laughs> she's a teenager. Uh, let me just see. Yeah, she's still a teen. I have no idea where her parents are. But, like, if you're going to invite me over, you can at least, like, stay conscious for the whole thing. Um, let's sing about love day. Oh, it's love day. Hook up in bed. Oh, goodness. Um, that's, that's interesting. Twingle zibs, twingle zibs, twingle Maybe we could do blow a kiss. I don't know how much romantic interaction she's going to want. I'm thinking that these two are probably going to woohoo. Um, that just seems like probably the reason she invited him to come over. Let's, uh, ask Maria. Ask if Maria wants kids. That's kind of an interesting question. It comes with slice of life, and I'm tempted to to ask that question. Maybe we could also get to know her traits, because I don't think we know all of them. We may only know a couple. I'm open to the idea of having kids. I feel like they always say that. Did she know that? We're going to go for a suave kiss. I don't know how that's going to go. I did ask what her trait was, but I don't think that she's answering. Oh, the option for get to know wasn't even there. Okay, what is Maria? Evil vegetarian. Okay, so we already know all of her traits. Okay, well, that was interesting. She's taking a selfie. That does not surprise me. Uh, oh, is that, did that say ask? That was like a really inappropriate question. Hold on. It was like, ask if Maria has had woohoo. That's interesting. Um, I've never seen that before, so I just want to ask. I've never had woohoo. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I, honestly, that must come with Slice of Life as well. I just recently re-downloaded Slice of Life after not having it for a while. And so there are parts of it that I'm sort of learning about again. And also trying to figure out exactly which parts of the mod I don't want anymore. Um, check on Maria, Slice of Life, Services, Study... What do we want to do? Uh, Track the baby. Good no. Here. Good God no. Uh, reveal crush. Okay. Are you leaving? She's going to bed. Why would you invite him over if you just wanted to go to bed? That doesn't make a lot of sense. <laughs> I'm going to have him um, drink birth control because I do want them to woohoo, but no babies. Are you going to go to bed in this bed now too? Kate, okay, stop. We already took the birth control. We can't waste it. Woo-hoo with Maria. I feel like that's probably the reason she invited him to come over anyway. I mean, she keeps falling asleep, but... Break out the candles, make it romantic. Kato is about to woohoo for the first time. Uh, so we are actually two days away from becoming a young adult. So I feel like he's not too young. Like, I, I was worried maybe he's too young, but I remembered that his birthday is coming up, so... It's probably okay. I'm going to cancel this event now. I feel like he had a good time. Uh, he's feeling passionate. Birth control, he's feel, he feels good about that. First woohoo, he's feeling thankful and he's blushing. So I'm gonna send him home now. That was our outing, I guess. I don't know why she bothered inviting him over if her plan was to just go to bed, but either way, Kato has woohooed for the first time and I have a feeling it won't be his last. I think that he's gonna probably probably woohoo with quite a few sims in his day. That's the vibe I'm getting, but I'm just really excited to find out what Kato's final trait is gonna be, because uh, I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting to see where his story can go. I'm gonna put everyone to sleep. I apologize if I'm playing a little bit too fast uh, in this episode. I really just want to age up Kato because I have to take a break from recording after this episode and I want to be able to like set up wherever we're gonna live for him and maybe give him a makeover if he needs it. And so I kind of don't have much time for that. So I am trying to play through this episode and 
yeah, go, go as quickly as I possibly can without missing too much fun. We're going to see. Oh, it's Saturday anyway, so even if he doesn't um, get the best sleep ever, he can sleep in for a while. And we should be good to go. I'm trying to have Kenji sleep in a bit. It's almost Kato's birthday. Okay, so Jada could probably go and take a shower. And then as for Kenji, I think he does have to work today. Um, oh, no, he doesn't. He has the day off. So the, uh, what do we call it? Artifacts, I guess. We don't have any right now in our inventory. We've sold all of them. We have some fish we could sell. I feel like we might as well just like get rid of everything in his inventory, especially if it's worth something, because we're going to give it all to... Kato's going to take all this money with him when he moves out. And we're at 114000 which, I mean, I can't remember for sure, but I would definitely say that is a record for the most money inherited in this challenge so far. I don't think any other generation has had that much money. So that's definitely interesting. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take a shower. And you can grab some food. Oh, did that just say the mail was here? Because that might be, um, sorry to bother you, I've heard what a great person you are. Would you be interested in making a donation? No, <laughs> we're, we're greedy with our money because Kato, we, we want it all for Kato, but thanks anyways. What did we get, more artifacts? Oh, we did get one, so let's go and authenticate that. And what are you doing? What are you making? Something in a pot with an apple? Okay, I'm intrigued. I don't know what that could be. I did download some new recipes, so that might be one of those recipes. So far, I'm thinking it is. It's a uh, grilled salmon with cilantro rice. Yeah, that's a new recipe that I downloaded. Um, What is the mod called? Like Granny's Cookbook or something like that? Why is she feeling miserable? Cramping. Yeah, see... There are parts of Slice of Life that I don't really want in my game, so I do need to remove those. I'm just kind of waiting until I know what exactly I want with this mod. I think that it's just too, um, a little bit too much. So I kind of like to pick and choose. Kato can come grab some food. I don't know if there's leftovers, but I'm hoping that there's something good that he can have. Um, why did he not authenticate that artifact? That's what I told him to do a while ago. There we go. And then Jada, she can go to the washroom. And I really don't know what else there is to do with her. We could probably just go and do some more snowboarding. That's pretty much her whole life, I think. Let's clean the shower, take a shower, clean the bathroom because the bathroom is really gross. This seems to be taking a while. Uh, and then also, what can Kato do today? Um, I kind of want him to like hang out with his friends. There's this guy named Lucas. Maybe they could become friends. I was also thinking of maybe creating a club where his friends could hang out. Okay, so we got 4000 for that one. Let's sell some more of the pomegranates. Yeah, so I'm thinking that maybe we could start up a club and that way he can like start gatherings with all his friends because he does have quite a few friends. Let's chat with Lucas a little bit more. And as for Maria, I mean, I don't think that, I don't really see them hanging out long term. Uh, there's Carly, oh, that's his, like, cousin or something like that. Mariana, I believe, is also his cousin. If they've got the last name Walter, I'm just not going to go there. Let's invite over Clara. Anyone with the last name Walter is probably, I'm just going to assume, is related to him, so I'm, I just don't want that. <laughs> Okay, let's chat with Clara, or invite Clara over, maybe. Clara will be right over. Okay. And then, oh, Jada, I wanted to get her to go snowboarding today. Um, just because if she doesn't get to do something fun, then she'll kind of lose her mind a little bit. So we're going to go continuously on high intensity. And why is Kato feeling depressed? Damp clothing, feeling hurt. Okay. It might be from his relationship with his dad. Let's brighten day, brighten day again, tell joke about vampires, and discuss interests. I don't know if this is going to be like a romantic interest for him, but I do want him to have quite a few close relationships in his life because I feel like he's very social. Discuss dance techniques, tell engaging story. 
talk about being out. Um, I don't know what else there is to talk about. Brag about partying? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of... I don't know. It's a bit much, but I'm going to go for it anyway. I was hoping this depressed mood would go away, but it doesn't seem to be. Oh, there we go. He's feeling inspired now. Ask the cloud gaze, boast about... You know, let's compliment her outfit. I do think these two could be good friends. Their relationship seems to build pretty quickly. Uh, talk about dreams and talk about recent meal. Yeah, see, their relationship actually is building quite quickly. Express admiration. Uh, talk about latest party. I don't actually know what her interests are, so we could get to know her. Good to know. I don't know what else we can find out about her. Ask the cloud gaze. Deep conversation. Share a secret. And maybe we could even flirt. Hook up in bed. That's a bit much. It really is. Give romantic gift. I don't want to do that either. I'm just going to go for flirt. Kato has learned the following tricks about Clara. She is mean. He has a type for sure. Maria was evil and now Clara is mean. I do find that interesting. Compliment appearance. I don't know if she's going to be interested in the flirting. Oh yeah, she is. Okay. I mean, Kato's a good looking guy. I feel like he's also got a bit of charisma and... I don't know. I think he could smooth talk as much as he, as he wanted. And uh, girls are going to be into that. So let's also see if we can, like, is there an option for... I don't want to hook up. That's... It's a little forward. Yeah. Uh, what else can we do? Flirt again. And then I'm going to go for... Oh, I really thought first kiss would be there. I guess they haven't really done that many romantic interactions. First kiss. I'm gonna. We're just gonna go for it. I'm a little nervous about that. Kendi has learned the following traits about Precious: bookworm, dead, fishy, and snob. I don't know who Precious is. He's going to chat with her though. She sounds like a threat to his marriage. I don't know about that. The name Precious is interesting. Okay, so there we go. First kiss with Clara as well. I mean, he he's not like. Um, exclusive with Maria and they don't exactly have much of a relationship so I feel like this is probably okay who knows who really knows hold hands I don't think we're in a woohoo though I think that might be a little bit too much um, maybe we could ask to be girlfriend that also seems quite forward I, I don't know what else. Oh, I'm sorry, but I have to leave now. There's this thing I have to do. I will call or text or call later. I have a feeling she's not going to do either, but okay. <laughs> uh, that seemed very passive. Let's also see what Kenji's up to. Who is this precious woman? Precious Nishidaki? I don't know who that is, but okay. Looks like he just met her recently and uh, they somehow just became friends. Maybe Kato could learn to cook a little bit. That would be really helpful. Serve some tofu tacos. I guess Kenji's gonna fix the toilet because he just broke it. Jada should be home now. Okay, what can Kenji do? Just watch some TV for a bit. Kenji is just so boring to play with, there's never anything for him to do because he's already happy all the time. There's gonna be some tacos we can have soon. And also, I don't think that, um, I, I don't see Kato being committed to someone long term, especially not right now. So, we're, he's just going to play the field a little bit. I think that's going to be his his thing. Um, I'm not saying that's a good thing. I do think he's going to be a bit of a, what's the nice way of saying, yeah, I don't know, a ladies man. We'll just say that. A bit of a, a womanizer. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Let's maybe send him to bed. Actually, no, uh, he's not even really tired. Let's go, we could make some music. I don't know, should we make music? Yeah, we could do that. He's gonna do uh, calculator rock. Or should he? It's gonna take him forever just to get up the damn stairs. <laughs> That's the problem with that. 
And how is his media production skill? I feel like we're getting somewhere. Level three, so it's not bad. I'm thinking this will probably be his career, or I don't know if you can make a career out of it. You could probably do some freelance stuff, but I'm thinking that's gonna be what he does um, for work. And maybe not though, maybe it's something he does on the side, or maybe it's just a hobby, I don't know. But I do think you can make some okay money at this, and I would be interested to try to do that. I'm gonna send him to bed now. He's got one more full day as a teenager and then he ages up into a young adult and then it's gonna be interesting. I'm excited for his story. I mean, I'm, I'm always excited for their stories. I feel like each Sim just has such an interesting like personality and traits and I'm just excited for all of it. Each generation to me is really exciting because it's always a new aspiration. There are two new aspirations that came with Bust the Dust and somebody on Twitter asked me if I'm going to be using those packs for the aspirations challenge and i haven't decided yet because it's not like this challenge is every single aspiration it was when it started but then journey to batu came out and i have no interest so there is one aspiration that we won't see and maybe if that pack was like 75 percent off or something i'd buy it and do that aspiration just for fun but I really don't want to support that pack, so probably not. But, I mean, I, I wouldn't say no. I, I'd never say never. It could happen, but probably not. Uh, as for the, the kit aspirations, I'm not that interested in doing them. They seem really interest, they're interesting. They seem really boring. I just want to see if they're, if they're on here, because then I could just at least go over them. Um, fabulously filthy procrastinator, leave out food to spoil. I want to see what the last one is. Knock over three trash cans. Lame. Throw a party, social event in a filthy house. Meh. A piece of filth fiend with filth tribute. Woohoo in a filthy house. Yeah, see that? Ultimately, not that interesting. Throw a party in a clean house. Successfully ask. Okay, so I'm reading these I just not out loud, just in my head, thinking that they're not going to be that interesting. But... I mean, we'll see. Maybe I'll include them, but as of right now, they're, they're kind of an afterthought. All right, so I think what I'll do is have Kato get up at Sunday. He eats up tomorrow. I'm actually very excited about that. So we're going to have, we'll probably have Jada make him a cake. And he's going to inherit 120,000 simoleons i did not see that coming i never thought we would have that much money for him i'm gonna maybe uh oh no not mute unmute can he dance play uh i don't know anything if he can just dance maybe that'll help with his fun um there we go dance there we go. He needs to have fun and dancing for him is fun. So let's go have her take a bubble bath. I do want him to max the dancing skill as well. Dance level four. Oh, so he's building his skill faster because it's new skill day. So that kind of helps. And then ultimately, what do we want to do today? We could hang out with Clara some more. We could hang out with his friend Lucas. I do want him to have both romantic interests and um, like just a lot of friends. So we could always just have him hang out with friends. Also, I did say that he might be bisexual. I haven't decided yet. I'm just kind of playing with whatever, whatever works. If he seems like he's gonna be attracted to a guy, then he'll go for it. But yeah, I don't really have any plans. Polish to perfection. Is she gonna eat something? Oh wait, I didn't put the tacos in the fridge or did i okay so we have a dust bunny i have the pack uh enabled now and this seems much more realistic before it was ridiculous how much these would pop up but i think that this is gonna be this is gonna be better let's get him to vacuum lightly i think that that would be kenji's thing i really th think that he would be into vacuuming So now we're at 121,000 simoleons and we don't get mail on Sundays, so that'll probably be it. We're not going to get any more artifacts, but I think we did pretty good. There we go. The house is nice and vacuumed. 
Jada, maybe she could go back out and go snowboarding. There hasn't really been much closure either with the whole like Kenji and Kato not getting along thing. And it wasn't so much as them not getting along as it was just Kenji not approving of Kato's lifestyle and just being a dad, really. I think that any father would be concerned about his behavior. So I don't know, maybe, maybe as Kato gets older, he realizes that, you know, it's just a, a reckless teenage phase and he's over it. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. Who do we want to invite over next? Let's invite over um, Lucas. I think I'd like Lucas to be his friend. Um, hey, handsome, do you want to go on a date today? I can wait for you to get ready. Let's go see a movie with massage. Massage sounds great. Let's go bowling. No, thanks. I'm busy. He's. I think he's going to ghost her. I really do. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do. I'm saying that's the Kato thing to do. Did we ever invite over Lucas? I don't remember if we did. Try again. Lucas is already here. Okay, yes, he is. Uh, let's talk about dreams. Try to cheer up. Oh, he's sad. Oh, come on. I don't want that. Brighten his day. Um, exchange names. That's interesting. Like, they should know each other's names by now. Talk about recent bath. That is a riveting conversation. That's what teens talk about these days, I guess. I don't know. It's been about um, nine years since I've been a teenager, so who knows? I don't know what they talk about. Lucas, Lucas, Stacy, I think I know you. My name is Kato. All right, then. He's mean and a music lover. Why are all of your friends mean? That is weird. Knock, knock joke. Um, ask for reassurance. Discuss dance techniques. What else can I do? Oh, there is one more thing I want to do. I want to um, do the whole volcanic bomb thing. I've been meaning to do it for a while, and I think I've just been putting it off because I'm scared of whatever it is. But I feel like this is a good chance to do it. So let's have him go over here because I don't know what's about to happen. I really don't. Like, could someone die, possibly? Let's summon the volcanic bomb. I do want to get a picture of him as well. All right, summon, summon. Oh, well, that is interesting. I don't, again, don't know what this does, but I kind of like it. I'm, I'm pausing it because I want pictures, basically. He has a crazy look in his eye. <laughs> I really don't trust it. I don't know what he's doing. Hold on, I gotta get... That's it. Okay, that was interesting, but what does it do? Um, oh, oh, <laughs> there's this. There is this. What is that? I've never seen this before. Break open. Too hot to touch. I'll say. Make decorative. This lava rock is too hot to use this interaction right now. Try to touch. That sounds painful. Interesting. I don't know what this thing does. He noticed it for sure. Let's just wait a bit. I don't want to actually touch it yet. Let's build a snow pile in the meantime. While we wait for this thing to cool down so we can actually touch it. I don't know how long it needs, but probably a long time. It is... Um, it's from a volcano, I'm pretty sure. Here we go. It's like getting better. Okay. Break open or make decorative. Well, I mean, are we able to do this again if we wanted to? This power has been used here recently. Okay, so we can do it later. Let's break this thing open. Because I am intrigued. Okay, stop building your snowman. <laughs> And Lucas is shoveling snow in the background. What are you doing? Stop with the snowman. There we go. Kato found some interesting bits of geology inside a broken lava rock. One limestone. Okay. Oh, and then one other thing it said. One unpolished geode and one fossil rock. So what do I do with these? Polish it. Um, oh, a star flake. Okay, that's kind of interesting, actually. And then there's this fossil rock as well, which we could extract. 
And now it's a, another Starflake. Oh, it's a fossilized sea monster worth 50 simoleons. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Maybe there's more to that that I don't really understand, but it is kind of interesting. What's Jada doing? Uh, everyone seems to be in such a good mood. They don't really need anything. Maybe I'll have him chat with Lucas a little bit more. We'll just call him on the phone. I think that's that's a good way to just ch ch oh, wow. chat with him for a while. And I think I'm going to have Jada make the birthday cake so it's ready for the morning. Let's make a... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Uh, whatever cake we can make. There is white cake, chocolate cake, matcha tea cake, winter cake, coconut cake. Let's make a winter cake. I feel like I never make that, and it's kind of interesting. I do like to watch Sims like do like the final stage of the cake making because that's what I do for my job and I just I take great interest in cake decorating. Pours it into a pan just like that. Super easy. Okay, come on. Oh, why do I feel like the interactions are done? Resume winter cake. To, oh, okay. I thought, I think I accidentally cancelled it. Kato got some motor skis from the lodge. Oh, he is skiing. Wow. I did not expect that. Look at that. Fully decorated. Beautiful. Ready to go. Let's add some birthday candles so that nobody oh, eats it. And these two, I think they should do some romantic interactions. We haven't done that in a while. Compliment his appearance and kiss as well. Meanwhile, uh, Kato was actually learning the skiing skill, which I did not expect. His mom would be disappointed that he's not into snowboarding. Is he coming home? Oh, he is coming home. Okay. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is just have him go to bed because I do want to have the birthday as soon as possible. What's happening? Oh, there's so many options with the bed now with that mod. There we go. Everyone just go to bed. Also, oh, hold on a second. What is this? Uh, grapefruit scent cologne from spraying cell. Kenji is wearing cologne. Oh, interesting. Kato can't sleep because of the music, so I'll turn that off. Go back to bed. There we go. Okay, so in just a few short hours, we can age up Kato into a young adult, which I can't believe we're already there. I feel like I play really, really fast, but I've always said this. I know I play faster than everyone else, but the reason is because I want to get through this challenge and I want to enjoy it, but I also want to get somewhere and I don't want to just spend like a hundred episodes on one household. So I hope you guys don't mind that that's, that's the way I go. Kenji, just go back to bed. There we go. He probably won't even stay in bed. It's only midnight. This is going to be a long night because he's already woken up once. I feel like he's going to wake up again at like three. Have him go back to sleep. Anyone that wants to wake up, just don't. All right, I think we're doing good. Anyone that wants to wake up now, fine. I'm just going to age up Kato. So I'm going to get this out of the fridge. I think I always age them up like first thing in the morning because I'm just so excited. All right, let's have him come downstairs. I guess, I mean, the whole family should probably be there. This is not normal, by the way, for everyone to wake up at 4 a.m. to celebrate a birthday. I don't think this is normal, but we're doing it. Okay, blow out these candles. Yes, you have to pee, I get it. I can't believe their boy has grown up. <laughs> like, it feels like he was just a baby not that long ago. There we go. Okay, so Kato already has Dance Machine and Self Assured, so we're gonna randomize the last trait and then pick his aspiration or keep his aspiration based on whatever this last trait is. So here we go. He's a perfectionist. Okay. I don't think that changes anything. I really don't. I think we're just gonna, uh, these Sims take longer to craft items, but tend to make them higher quality, gain powerful moodlets after crafting a high quality item and gain negative moodlets after crafting a low. So it's all about crafting basically which we could look into for him. If you guys have suggestions, let me know. I don't know if the media production skill counts or not, but as of right now, I'm gonna leave it at Party Animal. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. We can change that if that's not, 
if you don't think that suits his uh, personality. But in the meantime, I'm going to have him move to San Maishino. This is the last time we're going to be in this household. We've got 121,000 simoleons, so he is going to have a really nice apartment. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.